What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to add polynomials and combine like terms, all right? So here we have this problem, 7x squared minus 9x plus two in parentheses, and then we're gonna add that to this thing in parentheses, 6x squared minus 4x plus three. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is actually drop the parentheses. So you're gonna have, just dropping the parentheses, 7x squared minus 9x plus two, plus, right, 6x squared minus 4x plus 3. Wow, that looks gross. So let's clean it up. The next thing you're going to do is shuffle your terms around so they're next to each other, okay, because you, you want to combine like terms, right? So the way you do that, let's start with this one, 7x squared, okay? 7x squared. Okay, what matches up with 7x squared out of all of this? Well, it would be this one right here, right? This positive 6x squared. So then I'm going to bring that down here. Positive or plus 6x squared. Okay, so we're done with those. Next one I have is negative 9x, right? Negative 9x. What matches up with negative 9x? Well, it would be this negative 4x. Okay, so let's bring that down next. Okay, and then lastly, we just have the numbers, right? We have this plus 2 and this plus 3. So plus 2 plus 3. Okay, and one really important thing to realize is when you're combining like terms, make sure you have the same variable and the same exponent, okay? So that's why this x squared is matched up with this x squared. And then this x to the first power is matched up with this x to the first power. And then these are just the numbers at the end, right? So now we can combine like terms. Okay, so starting right here at the beginning, what is 7 plus 6? That's 13, right? And since we have an x squared here, an x squared here, you just keep the x squared. Okay, now let's come to the next set. So here we have negative nine minus four. So what's negative nine minus four? That's negative 13, right? And since we have an x here, have an x here, you just keep the x. Okay, and then lastly, here we have positive two plus three, which is equal to positive five. Okay, so now we're left with 13x squared minus 13x plus 5. Now, is there anything else we can combine together? No. And you might be wondering, why can't we combine the x squared and the x right here? Well, again, in order to combine stuff, they have to have the same variable, which they do, right? They both have an x. But they also have to have the same exponent, which in this case, they don't, right? There's a 2 right here, and then this x has a 1. So since they have different exponents, you can't combine those anymore, okay? So then your simplified answer, again, would be 13x squared minus 13x plus 5, all right? Boom. Let's do one more that's a little more complicated. All right, so here we have, in parentheses, 2p cubed minus 8 plus, and then in parentheses, p squared plus 7p plus 18. Okay, so again, the first thing you wanna do is just drop the parentheses. So here we're gonna have 2p cubed minus eight plus p squared plus 7p plus 18. Okay, now you might notice there's nothing we can really combine, right? Because there's a p cubed here, there's a p squared here, and there's a p right there. So we can't combine any of those together. And then all we have left is this minus eight and the 18 right there, okay? so. There's actually nothing we can combine in this example. Okay, so the only thing we have to do is make sure we write our answer in standard form. Okay, and all that means is we have to write our terms based on our exponents from biggest to smallest, okay? So for example, here the biggest, out of all these terms, the biggest exponent is this three, right? So that means we write this one first, two p cubed. Okay, what's the next biggest? Uh, well, it would be this, positive p squared, right? So then plus p squared, okay? So done with those. Okay, and then we just have this plus 7p, basically p to the first, okay? So plus 7p, so done with that term. And then your numbers always go at the end, okay? So we have this minus eight and plus 18. Minus eight plus 18. Okay, so we can't combine any of these variables together, but we do have these two numbers at the end that we can combine. So what's negative eight plus 18? Well, that would be positive 10, right? So then we just bring down the rest of this. So 
2p cubed plus p squared plus 7p plus 10, right? So then this would be your answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.